Hey guys and welcome to Functional Print Friday and welcome back to my shop. So if you guys saw last week's video, you know that I just had surgery on my right arm in three different places to correct an issue with the bone in that arm that I've had pretty much my whole life. And uh, surgery went fine, I'm recovering. Wasn't even sure I was gonna do a video this week uh, since I've only got this one hand and an arm to work with. And you know, that is fairly limited as to what I can do. And in fact, apologies in advance if the editing and such in this video isn't as good as usual. It is, uh, it's tough to get stuff done with, with one hand. But I had a win that I really wanted to share with you guys. Uh, let me tell you about it. So one of the first questions I asked after the surgery is how do I take a shower? Because you know, I'm pretty much wrapped up in this bandage on my right arm from you know, the, pretty much like the tops of my fingers uh, all the way up to the very top of my arm. And they said, oh, well, you, know, uh, you could stick your arm out of the shower or you, know, you could try wrapping it up in saran wrap. And I thought that sounded crazy. So you know, when I got home, I started shopping around on Amazon. And sure enough, exactly what you would imagine um, would exist for this uh, does exist. And these are pretty cheap. I think I paid like 12 bucks for this and uh, it's not a single use thing. It's actually a pretty nice thick material. It's about the same type of material you'd expect to have like on a shower curtain. And this is a nice thick neoprene part here uh, that you know makes a seal at your arm. However, I realized as soon as I went to use this, there is a pretty big limitation and that is you can't get it on and off by yourself because uh, this is, it's, a, it's a, like a slippery neoprene on this side, but it is a neoprene rubber on the other side that really grabs a hold of you know, whatever's on the other side. And that's important because it kind of ends up making a seal around your arm. In fact, it actually makes a really nice seal. Um, I don't think I've ever had any water get in here at all, but uh, I couldn't get the thing on and off by myself. And yeah, I mean, Mrs. FBF is perfectly happy to help me um, you know, put this on and, and take it off, but uh, it, believe it or not, this ended up being pretty much the one thing that I wasn't able to find some other, albeit slower, workaround uh, to do myself. Pretty much everything else that I need in a given day, I was able to still do completely on my own, uh, with the exception of getting this thing on and off. And to better explain why that is, let me actually, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to swing the camera around so I can show you guys uh, the problem. So I had kind of just accepted that I was just going to need help with this. You know, Mrs. FPF would put one hand here, one hand here, hold this open, and I could slip my arm in. Um, I'd shower, come out, and then she'd just do the same thing. Hold this, stick, stretch this all the way open, and I'd get my arm out. So after a couple of days of doing that, I thought, hmm, there's got to be another way. And if you want, pause the video and tell me down in the comments what you would have done, because it's a pretty simple fix, and I'm really surprised that I don't see any of these products uh, including this or doing this. Like, th this is your typical thing on Amazon where there is six or seven different vendors that you can buy the same thing from, and they all look the same, and they probably are all made by the same company. I will put a link to this specific one because, again, it's a mind blown that the doctor literally told me to just stick my arm out of the shower or wrap it in saran wrap. Uh, to shower when something like this exists. You'd think that they would know about this. But again, pause the video if you want. Tell me down in the comments below how you would solve this problem. All right, well, if you took a second to pause the video and take a guess down in the comments, welcome back and thank you. And if you guessed that uh, we could just design a ring that basically holds this guy open, you know, to almost its max diameter, give yourself a pat on the back because it pretty much ended up being just that simple. This took me, even with one hand, only about five minutes to draw up. And believe it or not, this is V1. You guys have commented in previous videos, it wouldn't be an FPF video without a reprint. Sorry to disappoint you. This is truly version one of this. Like I said, it was about five minutes to draw it up, even with just one hand, and I think about 15 minutes to print it out. And um, you know, I'll hold it up closer to the camera. You guys can see the overall shape of this. And I will, of course, make the STL for this available, just like everything here on the channel. But it is basically just has sort of a, a gutter in the center uh, to retain it so it doesn't slip out. And then I've rounded over all of the corners so that it slips easily on my arm as well. Uh, let me show you how it works. So I'll admit, I was pretty sure I could do this. What I wasn't sure about is if I would actually be able to use it with one hand. And it took me a couple tries to figure out how to do it. Uh, the, the trick is you've basically got to get it inside of this first. And I will sometimes cheat and sort of just use the weight of this arm to kind of hold this in place a little bit. And I'll speed the video up because you guys don't want to watch me fumble with this. All 
All right, apologies. I think I ended up blocking your view there um, by just sort of holding this down with the weight of, uh, of my appendage here. And I tell you, other than that, this thing is about as useless as going to Spirit Halloween and buying a fake arm and just carrying it around with you all the time. Uh, but hey, hopefully the future is going to be better. So now you can see I've got this nice big opening here. And this is here, I'll demonstrate. I can now slip this over. No problem. I don't know what you're thinking. What do I do with the ring now? Well, it just stays right there. So I'll now slip this off, which again is tricky with one hand, but certainly doable. And you find yourself a lot more patient when you only have the one hand to use. Now I'd have it a little bit higher if I was actually gonna go take a shower right now. Uh, but that's it, you just leave the ring there. The ring would normally just sort of sit here on my arm. And when I'm done, it is generally a little bit trickier to get it back on there. Uh, last time I got it on pretty quick. All right, that was maybe 20 seconds to get that on there. You get more patient with things like this just in general when you only have the one hand to use. But there we go, I'm back on the ring. And now I can slip this right back off of my arm. And because this is nice and smooth on the inside, it doesn't catch on the ace bandage. And it's off. This is printed in just plain old Bamboo PLA Basic, by the way, on my Bamboo P1S. And um, like I said, it's a 15 minute print and um, I think it used, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 cents in PLA. I mention that because this is not something you're gonna wanna use forever. Uh, this thing is probably gonna outlive this. And I say that not because this is gonna break, but it is a 3D printed object that is getting wet every day. It is eventually gonna harbor bacteria in there. So I'll probably replace this you know, every, every couple of weeks or something like that. Not that big of a deal. Um, I think I'm actually gonna print a bunch of these out and take them to my first post-op visit with the doctor and share my experience and recommend that maybe they start telling people to get uh, these arm covers and you know maybe they'll have a couple of these to give away or uh, for folks with a 3D printer, they could just 3D print their own. So pretty quick video this week, guys. And if you're still watching, thanks for doing that. Uh, this ended up being as simple and easy as this was, ended up feeling like such a big win this week because it, again, it was the one thing that I just wasn't able to do completely by myself and being able to solve it with you know an idea that I came up with and still be able to draw and print it, just again, huge, huge win. So as always, thanks for hanging out in the shop with me for this week's design and print. And if you wanna pick one of these up, I will link to this specific one of these plastic arm covering things with the neoprene uh, gasket on it that, uh, that I picked up. Like I said, there's six or seven of them. They're probably all the same, but I will link to the specific one that I bought because at least you know this one is good. And of course, uh, the STL for this ring will be available on my site, fpfdesigns.com, and that'll be linked down in the description of the video. If this is your first time here on my channel, this is all I do. It's all functional prints. I don't do any multicolored garbage of the week or just stuff that you print out and stick on a shelf. It's all functional printing. A lot of it out here in my shop to enhance the functionality of tools and just other stuff around my shop. But I do a lot of stuff like this too, just around the house or out in the yard that enhances the functionality of some product I've got or just fixes a specific problem that I or someone else has. If you're into that sort of thing, I do a new video every single Friday. So check out some of the other videos on the channel. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And guys, if you do, I'll see you next Friday.